All right, so Gen 2 text to video AI model is now accessible to everyone because Runway ML just announced that they are making their Gen 2 model publicly available. Before that, it was only accessible for the limited group of people. So this is a really exciting news because we don't have much text to video generators right now and Runway ML is the best video generator out there. So let me just quickly show you how to access it. Just go to runwayml.com and sign up your free account. So you can sign in with your Gmail or with your Apple ID because I have already signed in. So I am on my Runway ML dashboard and on the top, you can see introducing Gen 2 generate videos with text prompt. So if you're not familiar with Runway ML, this is not just limited to their video generation. They also offer a bunch of different tools, but this is well known for their video generation. They already have their Gen 1 model and I think most of you guys have already used that model. And this is the upgrade to Gen 1. So without talking anymore, let's quickly try it out. So this is the interface, a very clean looking interface. And here you have this space to enter your prompt. And if we scroll down a little bit, you can see some pre-generated videos. So these are not videos actually, because you can play them. These are just a single frame images, just to get the inspiration how your video will look like. So we have different options and it's always better to get some inspiration. So let's pick one of them and click on try this button and it will copy all of the prompt and will save all of these settings and now click generate button so it does take some time to generate a video but it only takes less than a minute and it also depends on your internet connection so we don't have to wait for such a long time to generate a video so here is the video output which is only four seconds long video uh, right now we can't generate long videos on it and it generated trees and fresh blue sky and it also added some shadows to add depth in the video but this is not a high quality video and this is just less than i would say 24 frames per second or less than that so if you want to get high quality videos with higher frame rates you have to upgrade to their premium plan so they're offering two different plans monthly premium plan and annual premium plan where you can upscale your videos to get high frame rates and high quality and you will also be able to remove watermark from your videos and your video generation time will be even more faster. So if you upgrade to their premium plan, you can get all of these features and you will get 125 seconds of video generation time. And if you run out of your credits, you can always buy them later without buying a complete plan, which is a really good thing. So in free account, you only get around 90 seconds. So I have left only 70 seconds because I have used some of my credits. And I think 90 seconds are enough to test out this model. But there are some settings to improve your video. So if we click on that icon, you can see the seed numbers that are used to generate that video, just like Mid Journey. So if you want to change your seed values, you can also change that. And if you want to copy your seed values, you can always do that. So here is one more setting, Interpolate. So what it does, it makes your videos more smoother and increase more frame rates in your videos. So if I click on that, and then generate my same video so let's generate so you can see that this video is much smoother than our previous one yes this uh, this is a little bit different video because we changed the seed values so if i compare this video with previous one so you can see the significant difference so this one is a previous video where you can see uh, this is a little jerky video frame rates are not good so this is the video with interpolate functionality turned on and just look at this. So this one is much smoother than previous one. So you can turn on that feature to make your videos smoother. So let's try our own prompts. Let's say a car on Mad Max road. Uh, so just wait for it. And this is the output video it generated. Uh, I really wasn't expecting this kind of quality where you can see the abundant car from Mad Max movie and a skeleton sitting on it. Uh, I don't know what is it, but it looks like a skeleton. Uh, but look at the focus on car and the dust particles. Uh, so it looks a very cinematic looking shot. Yeah, the car is not actually moving, but this is a good video. So let's try an astronaut playing football on Mars. Uh, so this is the output where you can see the astronaut is not actually playing football. It created all of that scene, but he is not actually playing. Uh, only the frames are moving from one place to another. One more, uh, honeybee flying around sunflower. 
where you can see it generated a really good video for Sunflower uh, where the petals are moving and he added blood in it to add depth into the video but there is a tiny little bee flying which is not visible actually you can also upload an image because this is also an image to video model so let's upload an image so these are some images that I uploaded earlier so let's pick this image that I generated in Bing Image Creator where this robot lady is singing so I'm also gonna give it a prompt of robot lady singing let's see what it comes up with this is going to be interesting let's see so this is the output uh, I'm not really impressed with this output it just added two pictures and I can't see anyone singing here so let's change the scene values and try again the same prompt so again this is not that I was expecting you can see the lightings and the bokeh effect on the back and this lady is moving but she is not actually singing so let's try something else so this time I'm gonna try this image of a wolf so I'm also give it a prompt wolf walking on a snow let's see so he merged two wolves together with two faces and I don't know six or seven legs <laughs> so this is uh, there is some funkiness going on with this video so again this tool is not perfect right now because this is just at its initial stage but we can expect some more advancements and improvements in the future if you look back when mid journey was on its initial stages it was providing this kind of images but right now we all know where mid journey is then same goes with this this is just at its initial stages and it's never gonna stay same so let's try some more generations so this time i'm gonna try a detailed prompt a man with moustaches on street neon lights on the back with bouquet effects so let's see because we have tried some short prompts and in some cases it worked well and in some cases horrible so let's see how does it perform with lengthy prompts so this one is a good video actually so you can see the neon lights on the back end and he blurred all of the background and just focus on the main person in the video and you can see whenever the guy is moving it's changing its face and maybe he is merging two people in one video just to make that one full frame uh, but this one is a good video so let's try this last prompt and then wrap up the video so this time i'm gonna try young woman with green eyes wearing pink dress going for a party so let's see what it comes up because this is a complicated prompt so i just want to see how does it perform with these kind of complicated prompts because we have already tried some simple prompts and let's see well this one is a really really good video it even looks like a stock footage if we see the main person is in focus and everything else is blurred so it really looks like a real stock footage where everything is blurred background is blurred neon lighting is coming bouquet effect everything is looking perfect yes there is some problem with eyes uh but rest of the video is just awesome so so that's it from this video if you find this video helpful give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one